Tom, I would like to understand your passion for Rembrandt, your monomaniac, kind of. And tell me about when you were six, you discovered Rembrandt. Tell me. My first encounter with Rembrandt was at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Um, when I was about six years old, my mother took me to the Met and I encountered Rembrandt for the first time. I can't remember what was the first image that I saw. I will say this, I had an immediate connection to the artist, such that it became very quickly a tradition between my mother and myself that we would go to the Met to go visit Rembrandt every weekend. Wow. Yeah. And after a certain point, she realized that, of course, I had a passion for Rembrandt and was developing, um, even at that age, a love for Dutch Golden Age art in the adjacent uh, galleries. Um, but she also thought, well, you know, if he has an affinity for art, then I should show him uh, other schools. So she took me to the Museum of Modern Art. I do remember encountering a large canvas, I believe it was white, um, with a red line across it. And the story goes, um, and I'm pretty sure that it's true, that I looked at that and I folded my arms and I said, take me back to the Wembwem, mommy. <laughs> and the reason why I sounded like that was because I was missing my two front teeth. And so we went back to the Met the following weekend. And what I can say is that I vividly remember encountering Aristotle contemplating the bust of Homer. And so much of my own personal narrative seems to flow from that. Clearly, it was an evocative moment for me such that even as a six or no more than seven-year-old boy, because we moved to Florida when I was seven, um, I, I was flooded with emotion by that painting. And I still am every time I see it because I remember one of the most important encounters I had with art, and I also remember um, the love and joy that I experienced with my mother 